This week we have our Keys to Work Transition Program for Newview, Oklahoma. All of the participants that we have are visually impaired and it's a chance for young adults who are entering their senior year of high school up to age 21 to come and work with our instructional therapists to learn independent living skills and work readiness skills to ensure that they have those things that they need, whether they're going to enter college after high school or if they're going to be entering the workforce. First, we, when the teens came in, we did an, ass an assessment just to see where they're at, um, ask them some questions. How do you do with your cooking? Are you doing cleaning? What, what are your goals? What do you want to be able to do? And what do you want to learn and gain from this experience? You know, it's really a blessing because some, some kids like me ha can't do stuff like cooking, cleaning, and budgeting and stuff like that. Because they're learning to do what, should I say, adults do? <laughs> Or what they can do on their own without having an, having their parents or a caregiver or adult around. What they're learning this week is a lot of assistive technology. We have two of our assistive technology professionals that are working with them. Um, we're making sure that they have computer skills that they'll need in, to perform jobs. We also want to make sure that they are good with the resumes that they, can they type up a resume? Do they know how to, how to format a resume? Do they know even what to write, write on a resume? You'd think that somebody 18 or 19 would know how to professionally interact, but so many of them don't because they've just never had that experience. If you can't see, you don't know that you're not supposed to look down all the time, but you need to make eye contact. You need to look at the person that's you're talking to all these kind of things, a lot of times they don't get those cues because they can't see well enough. We go one-on-one -on -one with the participants to make sure that they get what they want out of it. And some of them need more time. Some of them, um, they don't really want to go through the, you know, they get stressed with a lot of other people watching them or something. So we do one-on-one -on -one to make sure that they're comfortable. And we're letting them make mistakes, learn from their mistakes. That's how we all learn. I've learned that, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to be excited to be, have fun. You just put your limitations behind you because, you know, just because you're blind doesn't mean you can't do the things that normal people can do. The most meaningful part of this program for me is just seeing each one of these individuals grow on a daily basis from the very first day they started, not quite knowing what to expect, but by the end at this point today, working here and volunteering, learning new skills and being confident in their abilities, which is the whole point of this, to do their daily activities. I see lots of confidence with these kids. They, they know what they want. They've got more they've experienced some of this stuff because we're not there doing the stuff for them. We're there watching them and guiding them through the process. I take a lot of pride in what we do and how we help people. Um, the differences we're making in their lives because they, they don't, a lot of times don't get to experience this stuff. Like I said, um, I have people coming in saying, my child's, never, my child's blind, they're never gonna be able to live on their own, they're never gonna work. And I'm like, you can't put those, those boundaries on your kids, on children. They're gonna grow up, they're gonna be able to experience life just like everybody else. It might just look a little different. 